Mamas. Today we're talking about theater publicity. All right, let's get started by talking about what is publicity. Basically, it's the giving of information about a product, person, or company, or in our case, show, for advertisement or promotional purposes. It's very important in theater. We need an audience to do theater, so we got to let them know that we got a show. Oh, God, I'm rhyming. I'm sorry. Types of advertisements. First, there are posters, trailers or commercials, press releases, or interviews with our local radio shows or TV shows or even our local video announcements for our school. And social media posts and using hashtags. These are the types of advertisements that we highly suggest you use all four when you're doing a show. Example of a poster. Here is an example of our trailer. This was made using iMovie, and this whole setup was totally free via iMovie, not copyright. Uh, I will put a link down below of that trailer so you can go see it. This is an example of a press release from another school. And here's some example of using social media to hype up your show. This is an example. There is rehearsal shots, posting your poster, backstage shots, beginning rehearsal shots. That was on Twitter. And then using Instagram, you know, building, showing people building a show. The poster again. Maybe someone putting up a poster. And then also maybe a picture of maybe one of your stars, like the dog, <laughs> uh, in the show. So you can use all kinds of social media to pump up your show. Important things to include when you're doing publicity. Produced by, like Bussy Middle School, Lakeview Centennial High School presents, Saxy Mustang Players presents, that's what we mean by produced by. The Visual and Performing Arts Department at Lakeview Centennial presents, let them know who is doing the show. Then the very important is the title. Make sure you spell the title correctly and with the correct um, punctuation and capitalization. The name of the playwright, that's very important. Usually that's in your contract, how big and where it needs to be. Dates and times, very helpful. Where it's going to be performed at, especially if, don't just put like at Lakeview Centennial High School, put Lakeview Centennial High School Auditorium. Be very specific on where it is and what room specifically in case you have multiple performance locations. Cost and where or how to buy tickets. And lastly, publisher and other legal required information. Your publisher will send you information about what you need to put on any advertisement, which could includes, include include. Um, like if it's music, your composer, it could include the publisher itself somewhere on any of your promotional materials. All right. Bye, Drama Llamas. I'll see you next time.